Film music has become a really central part of what we do. So these amazing scores by John Williams in particular, we've played many, many times. Uh, and it's f fantastic for the whole orchestra. You hear the full sound of 85-piece orchestra, a kind of top impact, top volume. It's very, very exciting. We were also keen to include two movements from The Planets by Gustav Holst, a composer who conducted the CBSO way back in the 1920s, uh, and also music by A.R. Rahman, the most famous uh, Indian composer for the cinema, who also has an association with the CBSO. We were the first orchestra to give an entire concert of his music back in 2004. So uh, he conducted the orchestra then. So he's a good friend of the orchestra. So it's, it's those three areas, really. And of course, Lord of the Rings also was important to include because Tolkien, who wrote the books, he was born in Birmingham. So there are, there are Birmingham and CBSO connections to all of these things. But above that, I think the audience will just have a really exciting time listening to some of the most exciting music. This is the orchestra's first time in, in really in the Middle East at all. Uh, so we were thrilled to get the invitation um, to come to Abu Dhabi. And it was uh, a perfect fit for us, really, with to bring these two concerts of of British music last night and, and of the film music today. Um, we have been so well looked after. It's very comfortable. Uh, I think the only problem will be how much weight we have all put on from all the food, which is a, f a great problem to have. It's really just so much fantastic hospitality. Um, the, 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 the country, of course, is, is so beautiful, so friendly to visitors uh, and wonderful for those of us in, in Europe who when we hear about the Middle East often what we hear is you know sometimes not always positive to come here for all of us to have such a positive experience we all want to come back again tomorrow you know and also frankly in England at the moment it is freezing uh, so to come here in December uh, and you know be wearing our sunglasses and uh, very very warm at night and to be able to do outdoor concerts in December this is another first for the CBSO so very very positive experience here um, and also as a lifelong Manchester City fan I was able to do all my Christmas shopping so this is Perfect. Well, of course, the location is absolutely fantastic. And really, when somebody told me that, of course, most of the buildings in the background wouldn't have been there 10 years ago, this is amazing as well. But um, you, of course, immediately as an orchestra manager, you immediately start thinking of lots of very practical things. But luckily, that was all sorted out very, very easily. So the, the, both how it looked and how it sounded was absolutely tremendous. So the audience were the other side of the water uh, from the musicians. But the sound, the sound design and, and uh, mixing was really tremendous. So my impression was that for the audience, people really listened. You know, it's sometimes hard in an open air concert, you know, when you're not stuck inside in a concert hall for people to really focus on and concentrate on the music and really listen. But my feeling last night was that the audience were absolutely involved in the music and really listening and the fact that this beautiful skyline this beautiful setting the colors of the lighting and actually to play the first piece we played the four sea interludes you know was was evoking the english sea on the east coast of england which is um stormy and uh, pebbles on the beach and really quite bleak so to be playing that uh, on the beach in Abu Dhabi was was a real change and, and very wonderful. We are incredibly privileged to be able to come and perform here we are very respectful of the of the traditions and of the history and the importance to, to the uh, Emirati people of this location so to come here bring our music with our orchestra is first of all a great privilege and an honor but also it just seems a very good fitting place to be playing Star Wars and planets you know un under the sky the beautiful sky with no light pollution like we have back home uh, is, is a fantastic setting and I think you know classical music is um, you know in which I would include the film music and Bollywood music and so on but the music that we played by an orchestra it is an international language there is no reason why this should be seen as uniquely something that belongs to Europe or to America, let's say. You know, we have performed in the last year in Japan, in Taiwan, 
all over Europe, um, obviously all around the UK as well. And actually, we get a really warm and enthusiastic response wherever we go. I mean, you know, Taiwan we were in last year, you get the craziest enthusiastic audiences in, in Taiwan. It was, there was a queue all around the concert hall after the concert from people wanting autographs from any members of the orchestra they could find. You know, so it's great for us to come to places where orchestral music has not been a, a, a long tradition and do our bits to help you know, build a new audience and build enthusiasm for it. So we couldn't be more pleased. Fantastic experience. We will go home with many, many happy memories and we hope we will be back very soon.